Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's a great snake. Okay, that's good, right there. Okay, just a little pressure. Is that too loud, just tell me? Is that too loud? No, I'm fine. Okay, just one moment now. So we're going to skip the speech, it's the JFK Moon speech. Okay, we're going to put you right back. Just have a look around. Oh wow. Okay. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win on the other side. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. That's fantastic. I'm just going to skip you into the command module, okay? Okay. If you want to talk while you're inside, feel free to do so, okay? All right. I think the moment is the uh, wow. most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my uh, my two friends here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and, and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching but but nothing specific and just so quiet and to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place all the frantic activity preparing the rocket but it was so quiet up there for me personally and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and offer a momentous uh, event. That's really something. <laughs> thought uh, we had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 chance of making a successful landing on the first, first attempt. There's so many unknowns in that descending from lunar orbit down to the surface that had not been demonstrated yet by testing. It's a risk-reward uh, equation, and uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the reward that you will get by achieving the goal that you're after. T-minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown.
Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60-second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T-minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50-second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11.
I think certainly to go as far away as the uh, moon and look back on the Earth uh, certainly does uh, affect your perspective. Uh, and then when you see it, tiny as your thumbnail held out in front of you at arm's length, uh, that sort of gets your attention. A beautiful sight, tiny, pristine, blue and white, uh, very fragile looking object, uh, shining like a beautiful little headlight out there in the black velvet of space. It does change your perspective. It makes you think that we have to take better care of this little fragile entity because it is fragile. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, slightly less than one minute to ignition and everything is go. Roger, Apollo 11 is go. Charlie? Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. <coughs> Do you like that, Jay? You can take the goggles off, yeah? Yeah, just pull them right off. That's right. Yeah. 
Wait a minute, get back on camera, yeah. y'all. Boy, that's fantastic. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, really, wonderful. Did we get most of it right, hopefully? Huh? We got a lot right, I'd say. You did, hopefully. yeah. A few little uh, technical problems, but other than that, I mean, as far as the spacecraft go inside. Yeah. Yeah, but that's good. I mean, nobody makes you sad. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed Thank it. Thank you very much. Very I'm good. The it. moon surface looked really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it uh, looks very similar to what uh, uh, what we saw. The lunar module was great from the outside. I'm really impressed. It's really good. Thanks a million. Thanks a lot. No worries. We're, Terrific. we're hoping that like we're making this, these for children so that they learn history oh, through experiences like this instead of just reading it from textbooks. So we're trying to get as much right as possible. Oh, that would be a winner. <laughs> Thanks a million, Charlie. Thank you very much. Oh wow, fantastic. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's very realistic. Yeah. It's the first one he's built. They're going to build more. Uh -huh. He said, uh, so kids can use it like you're getting history. It'll yeah. be there when this happens.